How's it going everybody? Kiwi Chill Play here, back with another new series. This time, we're playing Cocoon. I don't know a ton about this game. What I do know is that uh, it's from the lead designer of the game's Limbo and the game Inside. Which, if you guys remember, was like that like really weird kind of horror-esque game where you play as a kid and you go through a facility... Um, and then you get transformed into a mutant at the end and then just roll down a hill and the game ends. I don't think there was actual, actually any dialogue in that game, which kind of made it pretty interesting. I wonder if this game will have, like, be along in that same sort of vein, where it's just more, you know, setting-based storytelling rather than, you know, dialogue between certain characters. Um, yeah, and I think his name was Jeppy Carlson or something? Anyway... Uh, this is a puzzle adventure game, uh, and I think it'll be pretty interesting. But from what I've been hearing, it's all about, like, worlds within worlds and, like, world hopping, so it should be pretty interesting. Alright, got a meteor that's hit this pillar thing. Interesting. Weird. All right, I guess we're just in. Listen to that sound. Very cool. Definitely not the art style I thought this game would have, but honestly, so far, looks pretty good. So, I guess we're just kind of exploring. There's branching paths, it looks like. Either go up or down. What is that? Looks like some sort of orb. I can't jump down there, so I'm assuming I have to go toward that. Um, let's see what's down here. Can I jump? Can I do anything? Whoops. Can I do anything? Hmm. Oh, there's, there's three paths. Can I go down here? No. There are steps over here. Wow. Already a pretty big pretty big area. Well, no turning back now. Oh, there we go. I had to hit A. Alright. So I can interact with those panels by pressing A. That's about all I know so far. Very cool. This, this desert area reminds me of, um, like Mars in Destiny with like the Cabal. And I missed that game. Had a terrible ending boss, but I missed that game. I guess I push this. Can I push? Oh no, I can lift. Oh, this is weird. So I put that back and then I press A on this. Oh, it lit, okay. <laughs> that's really, that's really cool. I'm digging this art style. Look at this. Wow. Man, already. Already I'm really liking this. Okay, I'm assuming those are enemies. Because the only, oh wait a minute. Well, I'm stupid, Never mind. I know what I have to do. I have to walk down here, duh. Okay, this game is that was way simpler than I was making it to be. That was totally on me. Okay, so... I'm assuming I just stay here. Oh, no, I have to hold it. Okay. Woo! Then I get launched. Lots of, like, weird egg shapes in this game so far. There's nothing really over here I can do. Can I go up here? So more of those, yeah, I was going to say, more of those weird line symbols, and this looks arena-ish. Interesting. Dude, this looks like the sandworm from Star Wars. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, world hopping. Right. Is this an enemy? Oh, and then I can just carry that world on my back. Oh, man. Got some Atlas type stuff happening. The Greek God Atlas. We carried the world on his back. This game really likes to play with like lighting effects too, like the lighting of this orb. Okay, do I just place it down? Oh, and I can cross. Yeah, this is really cool. It's kind of like, you know, like your futuristic like mech vibe, kind of like Halo. It's got like that Halo vibe. Destiny, right? That's also kind of futuristic. And then I can assumedly, assumedly carry this back, right? Yeah. Gonna carry this world all the way over. Do I put it in this? Yep. Okay, that opens that door. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to go back up here and grab this because this this whole area just seems like an escort mission. Um. Then I can push it. If I push it, it would come up here. Then I would probably have to step on this pretty quickly. So, right, because this would, yeah, that would bring it down. Okay, so what I'm assuming is I have to just keep it going. So if hit that, have it go there, hit that, have it go up and over, and then snap through there, or is it the other way around? Or do I have to, like, follow it down? That might be the... Yeah, I think that's the, that's the thing. Because I think if I get it over to the right of the screen, it activates that panel, which will activate that bridge. And I think these are just, like, your fail... your fail outputs. So... I've got to set it in there. Run, 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 run. Have it go in there. Run, 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 run. Have it go over here. Come all the way down here. And then have it go over there. Yeah. So it can it can pay to look ahead, which is nice. Nice to know. So then I can go all the way down and back over. Yeah. Cool. Really liking the puzzles so far. They're very, very cool. Very interesting. Okay, I can place you here. But it looks like there's two of them. There's two pads. Oh, wait, I see what's happening here. I need to make a path. I see. And then if I pull, it's kind of made a path. There we go, that's better. Now I can just carry you through. Big glowing red beam now. Ah, cool. Almost gives me like a Warframe vibe too, because of like, your character is kind of like a mech. It's like a bug mech. Wait. Oh, okay. So I have to leave this here. And probably get something. Okay, wall comes up. That's fine. Enemies? Are we going to get some enemies here? Nope, I can't activate that without without my world, so I need to pull this. That locks in place, I let that go. What did that do for me? Uh, to activate the notes? No, that wasn't right. Okay. Um, is there anything giving me a clue? Does this tell me? Oh, wait a minute, I betcha. If I pull this around, it'll tell me the order. So, yeah, that, I, I totally missed that the first time. So it looks like... Okay, the second from the left. 
Then, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to write this down because it will just make my life so much easier. So bear with me, guys. I'll probably skip through this. So let's give that a shot. So first we're going to do this one. Then the weird looking one over here. Then this one, this one, and this one. There we go. That was it. Is that a new world? Yeah, looks like it. I destroyed it. Okay, never mind. Friend? Friend, okay. What will friend do? Ah. He can bring down those. Makes sense. So now where do I take this guy? Do I put him here? That doesn't sound good. That sounds like a demon. Oh, and then that makes me integrate with it again. Okay. So now, ah, I see. And now that I have this guy, I can make this go away. Wow, this is, this is interesting. This whole interacting between different worlds. Very cool. So I guess we can't do anything with that yet. But he likes this. I feel like I have to have a name for him. Or is he just gone? Aw oh, man, I was gonna name him like Jeffrey or something. Bring back Jeffrey. I don't wanna leave him here. Let me take my friend. Man. He was the only friend I had in this world and you're gonna take him from me? That's so rude, dude. 2024, Jeffrey for president, am I right? This is, okay, and this is, you know, this is a new area. I thought maybe this was. Oh, oh, hello. You can, you can move. That's cool. Uh, what am I pulling on exactly? Is this like your tonsil or, um, your uvula or <clears throat> something, something else? Okay, and it doesn't move backwards like I th was fearing at first. That's good. So I can just cross. Put me over here. This pull takes me up. Okay. Let go. Okay, we got some weird stuff happening. That looks like those things look like they would kill me, so I'm gonna go this way. Another weird insect like thing and another world. Okay. Okay, he's got a world. I need that. Oh, they're enemies. Okay. Can't interact here, and that's a pad to boost me out. Don't know what that is. That looks like a freaking demon rhombus or something. Boss time? Looking like it's boss time. Whoa. Okay, wait, this was that thing that we awoke in. Remember when we left the first area? Okay, so just avoid and hit the burrowing dudes, I guess. This guy's like farting crystals at this point. Did that hit him? Oh, he just kicked me out. Oh, weird. But then I can come right back in, I see. And he's still very upset with me. 
Hit you again, boy. Handle that. Boom. Nope, I was about to say, did I get him? But nope, I didn't get him. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this at all. This is weird. Cool, but weird. Right, what do we got? <laughs> That's very funny. They like to like tease you like, oh, am I gonna go this way? Am I gonna go the other way? You'll never know. There we go. And he's dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. You're dead, son. See you for real this time. Whoa. All right, now we can interface out again. Oh. Very cool. Whoa, dude, that's cool. Get out of here, man. That's really interesting. I just got chills. That's really cool. So you could, like, these worlds can have powers if you defeat, I guess, like, the guardians of them or something. So if I put this down, it activates that. I can pull this. And that is a bridge I can use, but it's hard to know exactly where I can go with it or where I have to have it go. Grab this, come back over, and now these paths should line up. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so I can come over here. Not sure what this does for me right now. Whoa, look at that guy down there. Looks like a huge undulating pylon, doesn't he? <laughs> pylon Pete or something. He just looks like he's, you know, on his way to a commute. He's like, yeah, you know, gotta start drilling. Those bills aren't gonna pay himself, you know? So, how do I get that to move? Do I like hit A when I'm here? Nope, that doesn't work. Back this way. Come down. Oh. And that moves the panel. Yeah. So. Okay, I think I. I think I understand. So I think I have to hitch a ride when it's in motion. Yeah, there we go. Wait, what's over here? Nothing? Just more peats at the bottom? They look deactivated almost, like they're not working. Okay, landed there, can't go there. This way. Okay, another one of these. Oh, I probably have to get launched somewhere and then double back again because this looks like another boss fight. Okay, so. this over here and then stairs down that's a big door oh hey Pete let's go buddy come on now gotta take you over here let me guess you can activate these yep wait don't walk away I need you over here my man I'm 
Gotta bring Pete somewhere. Oh. I see. I have to line the Pete's up. I gotta bring Pete one over here. And then, you know, I can bring Pete two over there. I'm actually gonna bring him as far over as I can to give me enough time. There you go, Pete one. You can get back on your merry way. I'll bring Pete two over here and stop. And now you should activate that, yes? Yes, but now I have to go quick. There we go, very cool. That was a cool puzzle. I had to use the Pete's and get through the door. Good old Pylon Pete. Oh, this world looks cool, man. And then this is the guardian of that world, I guess, right? This triangle-like thing? Yeah. So we awake the guardians. That's gross looking, okay. Yeah. This almost looks like an odd, like a, like an ocean world or something. And he goes, all right. Time to go cleanse this world. How do I bring both? Oh, wait, can I, can I set one of you down? Oh, right, I have to actually activate the, the thing so I can, I can bring both. That makes sense. Then I need two of these guys to be able to enter this one. Gotta say, I like this this blue orb a lot. Very cool looking. Now which one? I'm assuming this one, right? Because I want to purify this one. Yeah, it's like an ocean world. This is really cool. <laughs> they hide. They're like, no, don't come near me. Don't be afraid, Coral. I'm not going to hurt you. This game is visually stunning so far. It it knows its lane, and it's, it's, it's perfect. This is a fantastic game so far. Oh, wait. Oh, man. This is like some Inception-type stuff. Can I take the the orange world into this world, right? Because if I pick this up, oh, I can. That's crazy. So it can take worlds inside other worlds. That's just a paradox waiting to happen. So that goes there. Uh, we got enemies, yes. Yes, they are enemies, absolutely. That's not good. Get across before they do something stupid. There we go. Gonna use that to get out. Which I'm thinking I want to do, right? Because I don't think I can go further without one of the without a Jeffrey. So what do I do next? Unless I was supposed to go back in with this. Or maybe. I go into, I go into orange with blue. Because maybe if I go into orange with blue, it'll actually give me something that I can go forward with. No, doesn't look like that. But if I put this here, that opens that, which means I can, go forward okay wow how cool so i'm back here and it's another music note so where do i find the solution for this one there has to be a clue somewhere there has to be. oh duh okay so right here so what do we got to do here whoops i didn't even mean to run into that guy so just get these guys reset. Yeah, okay. So we're looking for this dude. 
then this dude, then this dude, then this dude, then this dude, right? Yep, nice. Very cool. So we get another dude, which we can then take back into the blue world and unlock that gate. This game is gonna get complicated quick, <laughs> but it's fun, like it's really cool. Yeah, so that we can remove this, take the elevator back, get our blue orb, go back out, reset, go into the blue orb. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> and then we're actually gonna bring the orange into the blue just in case we need it. All right, my man, do your thing. Yeah, and we did need it immediately. Cool. All right, so let's go this way. What do we got? All right, so we got, got some stairs here. Why, hello, good sir. I see you have another world. A purple one. I'm going to need that. And part of me thinks you're not going to give it up without a fight. What? Oh, that's not good. Okay, how do I get my dude through then? So I'll bring this forward, drop it, and I guess I have to, I have to unstick him, but in order to do that, I can just unstick him without the orb. Okay, that's good. So I come through, grab the orb, let that go back the other way, come down, have him hit the wall, what's this, something I can't interact with yet, that bumps me out, another one of these. I don't know what this does. Okay, I don't want it to come near me. Um, is there anything I can do above here? No, this is just a blocked path. Because if I take him, this suggests it wants me to... Wait a minute. If I put this here, bring you back, bounce out, if that goes all the way over, it does. That's so crazy, dude. So I can, I can have the state of the world persist. That's crazy. And then I can bring him forward, he'll go there. Yeah, man, this game is crazy cool, dude. Wow, that's crazy. Bye, Jeffrey. I'm sure I'll get another one at some point. I wish Jeffrey was a permanent companion, you know, I stand for Jeffrey. Okay. Wow. This is really cool. Another thing this game is doing really well is like the environments look alien. And I think that's the thing it's going for. It's going for like, you know, you're traveling through a bunch of alien worlds. So it's its environment, it's doing absolutely fantastic. Alright, so that should get me around, right? I should be able to go forward. I drop this here, that'll open the door. I'll have two paths? No, no paths to go. Huh. I'm just going to go over here and double check that there wasn't a, another off shooting path that I missed. I don't think there was, but I, who knows. Let me go back up here. Or 
at least, buddy. Is it one of these things where I have to juggle it? Carry it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me, I'm just an idiot. Okay, so I get through here. I put my world into the pipe. The pipe goes through, opens the gate. Okay. It was right in front of my eyes, and I just didn't put it together. Okay, so that lets me get through. I bring this up. Another jump pad. Put this down. It does it. Well, it lets me go through here. Um, I need to get the bowl through. How am I getting this ball through? Because I can't fit with it just in my hand. Huh. Or, I wonder if I can do this. Can I drop it here? Go back in. Will it drop me where I last came out? Because if that's the case, I can come out, grab the orb again, go back in. And if this works, I should be on the other side of the gate. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Okay, so left here. All right, so it looks like we've got another one. Of oh, fun. All right, let's try a full turn first. I know there was a way to go about halfway. Looks like some offerings next to a statue of that guy. I can go this way. It pops me over here. Get the jump pad. What does this do? Gives me a path over here. That looks like a boss. Um, I guess I've got no way around it, huh? Yeah, we got a boss coming in for sure. Yep, boss time. This one looks like it's going to blow up, so... Oh, he got me. Oh, and he just throws me out. That's kind of cool. Okay, so go back in. Alright. And I noticed that when I went out with that orb inside, it actually showed the, the orange circle inside too, which is cool. Oh, I see. I can drop it on him there. Okay. That makes sense. Interesting. Come over here, buddy. It's this one, I think. Like a soft bullet hell here. I just got through playing Battletoads, man. I can handle that. <laughs> Alright. So, one or two more hits, and I think this guy's curtains. So, let's... Oh my goodness, what's this? So, obviously stay away from that. You get through the walls when you can. So I gotta get over there. Okay, so I made a bad I made a bad move. Not that I could have told that from before. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, dude. <laughs> I need to get you to come over here on this. There we go. Okay, so I just need to go hide. Bullet hell again, right? What is this? 
bullet hell. Okay. Just avoid it. Alright, there we go. You dead? You dead, dog? You big and dead? Yeah, you dead. Yeah, yeah, you dead. You dead. <sighs> Woo woo! Hell yeah, man. Right on, and we go forward. Wait, how do I get my red guy out? Well, anyway. I think that's a great place to end off the first episode, guys. This game has, like, blown past my expectations already. And, like, I just played that for just over an hour. This game is a huge breath of fresh air. It feels amazing to play. The boss fights are extremely well designed. Um, like, the level design is fantastic. There is nothing but good things I can say about this game. I haven't seen a blemish yet. I, like... I haven't seen anything about this game that would make me, you know, take away points at the end because this this has been fantastic. I, I absolutely love this game so far. Um, thank you for all sticking around and being with me through this one and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episodes because absolutely we're finishing this 100%. So um, until the next episode and until next time, Keep it chill.